And first up, we'll hear about a groundbreaking campaign that used actionable smart speaker ads to encourage uh, us to use our appliances more sustainably, while also aware raising awareness and consideration of the brand. So to talk more about that, please welcome Sam Austin, Head of Audio at Good Stuff, and Charlie Cabri, CEO of Say It Now. Good morning. <clears throat> um, before we begin, a quick show of hands. Who has ever made a friend in their life? <laughs> okay, keep your hands up if it was an important part of that friendship making process if you use your voice. Fantastic. This is very, very good, right? So um, this morning, we're going to come run through a little bit of the applications of voice. Um, my name's, if you've not met, my name's uh, Charlie Cabri. I'm the CEO, one of the co-founders of Say It Now. And we fundamentally believe that the best way to create a trusted and valuable relationship is through conversation and primarily conversation using your voice. So we're going to talk a little bit about voice and the opportunities there in the landscape. And then I'll hand over to Sam Austin here, who will run through a deep dive into a case study as we've had into um, OVO. Um, and I hope that you can bear with me. It's a little bit ironic that I'll be talking all about the virtues of voice. I'm slightly losing my voice, so hopefully you can all be my friends here too. So um, what we do uh, say it now is we, um, we use the power of smart speakers and we enable brands to control this, um, uh, this exciting new opportunity with smart speakers, which are now a two-way device within the home that allows you to communicate back and forward with the brands and your um, content that you hear on the radio. Um, it used to be just broadcast, but now we can talk two ways and we should embrace that opportunity. So a little bit of a, um, uh, a background in the, the way that the interface has grown. I'm 44 years old and I've seen the growth of the way that humans engage with computers through my lifetime. In the 70s or even 80s, when I first started using computing, in order to get access to the power of computers, you had to understand the command line interface and code to get um, anything back from these computers. What then happened during the 90s, then um, when the, the world started to see windows and mice, you could click around, that democratized computing to the masses. We were all able to get access to this exciting world of computers, and we, this actually kind of forwarded the human race. What then happened is all of these um, computers were locked together with the World Wide Web, and that democratized information. So we suddenly all had access to computing, and information, again, the human race took a big step forward. We then saw, during the kind of noughties, the huge rise of mobile, um, mobile phones and mobile applications, and that put these exciting computers and all this information in our pockets, and we could take that all along with us. However, it's far easier and more natural to communicate just using your voice, and over the last, well, I've been working in voice for the last 10 years or so, we've seen the rise of voice as an interface. It's far more natural, it's far easier, and it's, um, you can com you communicate using your voice at about 150 words a minute, but you can only tap into your black mirrors at about 50 words a minute. And we've seen huge strides in um, smart speakers within the home, but also over the last month, we've seen huge strides in large language models, people like OpenAI and ChatGPT 4.0 moving voice first, right? This is a huge shot in the arm, it means that every um, time you start to use a chatbot, it's now just as easy to start to use your voice to engage. We're going to see, um, uh, we also saw Google release their uh, project Astra, which is doing exactly the same thing. And what um, Andy Jassy said in his um, uh, shareholder's letter at the beginning of April is that Amazon are putting generative AI across the whole of their business. And this means that smart speakers like Alexa are going to start to communicate more and more com in a more compelling way with you at home. So if you look at the landscape, there's now more than half a billion of these Alexa devices being sold in the world. 60% of UK homes have a smart speaker. 90 million US homes have a smart speaker. And moreover, people's engagement with these has risen by 35% year over year. This is a very important part of the household. And I can tell you this from my own personal experience. <clears throat> I've got three children. And if it's raining outside, I say, kids, put your raincoat on. They say, Alexa, what's the weather today? I've lost all agency in the kitchen. Um, I'm no longer the master of my own domain. And so um, with this becoming a very important personality within the household and getting better and better at keeping your attention, 
it's really important that, um, uh, that we harness this. Because we see that people are actually using smart speakers more and more. This green line here is smart speaker listening going up and up over time. And it's, um, uh, it's actually been the most recent uh, Midas report showing that um, I think it's about 23% of all commercial radio listening is now listened to on smart speakers. And if you're running campaigns on smart speaker inventory and they're not actionable, it's a little bit run it like running a display campaign you cannot click. It's very obvious, to me at least, that this is the way that um, uh, you should run these types of campaigns. So in 2021, um, we released a, a format called Actionable Ads, taking advantage of uh, existing inventory and distribution channels. So these ads run exactly the same way you've always run these ad campaigns. The only difference is we say, if you'd like to know more about this campaign, this offer, then just say these words back to your smart speaker. You say these words back to your smart speaker, you have a delightful conversation with your smart speaker, and then you get a link sent to your phone, you can find out more about that brand, you can set, the, set a reminder or buy a product, and then you can tell you listen to the audio. But because each one of these is a digital event, we can track all these in real time. So you can then get a dashboard which shows you exactly where the impressions have been served, when people have been engaging with those, and exactly what outcome you've been able to drive. So you suddenly get the ability to see kind of a, a full funnel view of how your audio campaigns have been delivered. And this is you know, this kind of engaging ad format and real-time attribution and reporting is something we've been really looking forward to within this industry. So who are actually kind of running these ad campaigns? Is this, is, this, is this something in the future, or is this something very much now? I would argue it's something now. So for some of the campaigns we run, we make little stickers that we can put on your laptop. Um, come see me after. So you know, people like Moonpig use these campaigns to drive um, coupons. Uh, Tesco Mobile to acquire new customers. Just Eat, in order to get people to download their apps or um, drive uh, demos. Lion King, Macy's, Race for Life, McCain. There's many, many examples. I'm not going to go into all these examples. I'm going to bring sector domain expert partners to do just that. I'd love to introduce you to Sam Austin. He'll go into a deep dive about what we've been doing with OVO. Thank you. Sam. Thanks for that. Um, hello. Ironically, I also have lost my voice a little bit, so I'm going to try and project, but I might be going squeaky all around the place uh, as well. Um, I have also got some of these. So. But yes, hello, I am Sam Austin. I'm the head of audio at Good Stuff. Uh, today is actually Good Stuff's 20th birthday, so I'm currently missing a big party back in the office. So I'm hoping everyone here is going to be as fun and engaging and celebratory with me as you can. Um, now, Good Stuff's ambition is to be the world's most inventive media agency. It's a bit of a bold statement considering we're only based in the UK. But we very much believe that uh, inventive thinking. Um, helps to drive disproportionate impact for our clients' advertising investment. So in other words, they get more bang for their buck by being thinking a little bit differently and acting outside the box. And having worked with Charlie and the team at Say It Now on a couple of campaigns before, on some simple activations, so one of those being the Subaru, where we encourage listeners to speak to their smart speaker and ask it to either book them a test drive or to download a brochure to find out more, um, you know, we got some great results from that campaign. So the idea this time was to see what we could do with more innovative and also more involved activations. I didn't plan to match the OVO colors as well. <laughs> I honestly didn't. I thought, oh. I've been away, so I'm going to put something on to make the tan look good, and ironically, it's green, and so is this. So <laughs> Honestly, I'm not that cringe. Um, <laughs> so we spotted a strategic opportunity for our client, OVO, uh, to elevate their energy campaign, to drive real distinction in a cluttered marketplace where everyone is talking about energy efficiencies, you know, sustainable energy solutions, etc. And we wanted to, them to be able to deliver a meaningful message uh, and a meaningful difference beyond just a basic creative. So the current strand of communications that's running for the OVO Power Move campaign uh, is to encourage people to make smarter choices about their energy consumption 
at a time when the energy grid is using more sustainable forms of energy. So there's a lot of long words there, but basically, we want people to be thinking about when is the right time to turn on their washing machine, when is the right time to turn on their hair dryers, etc. You know, if, if the grid is busy at the moment, maybe now is not the right time to turn everything off, or if the, gri if the grid is at a low uh, usage point, maybe now is a good time to switch things on. So we wanted to empower people with that information. And customers are rewarded by OVO for doing so, and we've called this the Greener Grid. So working with our partners at Assembly, um, where we've used real-time data feed, tapping into the national grid, using that insight, we have built a Greener Grid API that has allowed us to inform our advertising for other campaigns for OVO. So, this form of uh, product innovation has recently just won at the Campaign Awards for uh, Tech for Agency as well. So we're really proud about that, literally a few weeks ago. That was a fun night. Um, and working with Saatchi's, OVO's creative agency, and Say It Now, we wanted to figure out how we can utilize this really exciting and insightful use of data from a live API using the National Grid, Greener Grid, uh, insight to develop a smart speaker campaign. So the challenge um, that we faced is obviously behavior change takes time. It's not something that happens overnight. So getting into the homes of the nation, you know, is really, really important to, uh, to be able to do in a meaningful way. So to be able to inform listeners and encourage them to make this meaningful change, to be able to think about their choices of when they're using their energy, um, you know, is a really powerful enabler for OVO to achieve their mission of path to zero. The objectives of the campaign was to make consumers aware of these killer grid insights. For example, what I've mentioned before, now's a great time to use your appliances because there's less, uh, there's less rigor on the grid, or it's using smarter, more sustainable energy sources such as solar, et cetera, like that. But we're also trying to create these new behaviors and involving smart speakers. So we're trying to ensure that the message is meaningful and it cuts through this cluttered environment, as I mentioned before. So for our audio strategy, we wanted to introduce meaningful, actionable ads, um, as well as develop a smart speaker skill that was delivering an always-on, real-time, meaningful message for listeners, but crucially, via Standout Creative. So Saatchi's um, developed this creative, and what they have done is they've used a familiar voice. So we talked earlier about how important it is to have, whether it's a famous person speaking or you know, the type of creative that you use, it adds disproportionate impact on top of your campaign message. So I shall stop talking and allow this wonderful person to speak. It's time to stop spinning. Feel those dials turn down and off. So when the grid is busy, relying on fossil fuels, you're a washing machine drifting into a power nap. Want help shifting your energy to greener times? Ovo's Alexa skill can help. Just say, Alexa, open Ovo power nap. So the ad itself, obviously, if you didn't recognize it, it's James Norton. He's a familiar, trusted voice, and we'd all welcome him into our homes of an evening. Um, that sounds really scary, doesn't it? God, I've been away. Um, but basically, the actual call to action at the end is very clear. It's very simple to do. However, it's very, very effective. So after you've said to your, your you've heard the, been listening to the radio, you've heard the ad, and you've asked Alexa, open power nap, you're then greeted with this, and this is the smart skill. Right now, it's time to save energy, because the grid is busy and filled with fossil fuels. So let's take this moment to embrace a power nap and unplug our devices when the energy flowing isn't as green. With OVO Power Move, you could be rewarded for using less at moments like this. Would you like to know more? 
And with that, you can open up your dialogue with your skill. You can find out more. You can set yourself reminders so that you can come back at times when the grid is using more sustainable forms of energy. And to sort of show you the clear path to action, it sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. So first of all, you hear the ad. There's a very clear call to action. Alexa, open Ovo PowerNap. Next is your engagement. So audiences engage. Shall we send you a link to find out more? Shall we uh, set you a reminder? So again, these are very simple interactions that we're all now very familiar with with our smart speakers. And crucially, like Charlie said earlier, the, the most important thing here is the measurement at the end, is being able to justify the use of actionable ads and also smart skills for your clients. So throughout the whole process, you can see when your impressions are being delivered. Um, you can track those um, via you, the dashboard that the guys create. Uh, you can see also how many people have then gone on to actually activate the skill, how many people have then gone on to return to the skill, who has set themselves reminders. And what this creates is this continuous loop of ongoing feedback for your campaign. And it's really, really crucial, especially in this day and age when we want to be able to get our hands stuck into campaigns live and make real differences in the moment to make campaigns more effective and more efficient. So a standard linear radio campaign can sometimes take up to six weeks to get insight from the activity, and that's post-campaign. So you can't impact your campaign activity live in the moment. Whereas with the, ooh, with the Say It Now dashboard, you know, you can get on there, you can see potentially if you've got a range of different creatives running at any time, you can see which ones are more effective, you can see which ones you can dial up and dial down, and on a weekly basis, make real-time changes to make your campaign more effective. And the results so far, we're only a few weeks in, um, but we've had over thousands of people opening the skill, and better still, a couple of weeks ago, it was hundreds of people returning to the skill on a weekly basis. So that's really positive and encouraging. But also, it's picked up by the press and industry publications, and the campaign itself um, also won April's IAB Joy of the Month campaign. So we're really pleased. Um, so look, um, just, just to kind of uh, deliver some key points back. So we now have more than half of the UK homes have a smart speaker. We know that this is about three times more efficient to engage using your voice than to typing, to make a, a friend of the brand, which is great. Um, we've got this audience which is ready to engage. They are already kind of daily using the smart speakers at home to do usual tasks. You know, we, we know that um, when we began all this, we didn't want to use technology for technology's sake. We followed user behavior. We said, what are people using smart speakers for? Listening to streaming audio and asking questions. So all we're doing is playing into that behavior that already exists in the household. So we've got this um, opportunity now that transcends the ad spot and an opportunity really from audio to build this kind of, um, it's almost like earned media within audio with people setting reminders to come back away from the ad spot or actually just using this as a service that they can use to understand how they can be more responsible as an individual. We've got this aggregated measurement. So you know, if you're spending a certain amount every single week, you can see week to week what times of day are performing better and then you can move your media allocation, your buy around, to make the same spend work harder, which is very important, which eventually gives a greater media efficacy. Now, we said we might leave a couple of minutes for some questions at the end. Do we have time for a couple of questions? Two questions. Round of applause for Charlie and Sam. Thank you. Um, so I'll, I'll stand here so I can see if, if anybody has got any questions, if you want to have to think about that. but. Um, it's very interesting, and as you set out, I think smart speakers are already pretty smart, but likely to get smarter. Right. Um, so how do you see that playing out in terms of the innovation there's going to be with smart speakers, and in terms of how we use them, or how advertisers might be able to use them in future? Where do you see that going next, building on what you've done already? So we've seen from the launch of ChatGPT, you know, that, you know, what a large language model is, it's the ability to take in a domain of experience and then deliver that back in a really compelling conversational way. A couple of weeks ago, Amazon launched for Fire TV a, uh, a conversational way to try and find new things to watch on the TV. That's the way that we're going to be building these experiences in the future, building brand safe, large language models, or maybe little language models, that are just kind of specific for a campaign, so people can have a broad ranging but brand safe conversation with that campaign. 
because that's happening across the Alexa estate, across the chat, uh, chat TPT estate, across all of these um, voice assistant or AI assistants, people are going to be spending more and more time. I think in you know, 2005, about 99% of the way people access the internet was through a desktop or a laptop. By 2020, it's about 50-50 between desktop and mobile. What we're going to see over the course of the next five years is that's going to get almost parity between voice, mobile, and desktop. Yeah. As that happens, more and more brands are going to have to invest in their voice strategy, and this is a very obvious place for them to begin. Yeah. And Sam, in terms of your experience working with Say It Now, doing this kind of campaign, has this given you a taste for it to sort of propose and work in this way with other clients? Have you done that already, or have you got other things on This is our third campaign, yeah. um, obviously on the beach as part of the Magic Partnership. Like I said, Subaru, Ovo, I know that we've got an ongoing um, API built for this, for, for the OVO activity. So it's just about how that we look at this data insight in real time and leverage it. So um, we've seen it quite successfully for our programmatic out of home activity that we've been running um, for OVO. So I think this is audio is here to stay. It's what we're going to do, maybe moving it on next in terms of targeting and making it more effective. Good stuff. OK, are there any questions? Uh, Jason, in the front row. I think this is working, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, the Say It Now dashboard looks very interesting um, for campaign management on the flight. Can you give us a little um, look under the hood of the, the way the plumbing, the data plumbing is yeah, working so under there? It's, it's, really, it's really simple. So we put a standard tracking pixel on your digital audio creative. That pulls in, that shows us exactly where that, uh, that um, spot is running. And we then tie that into what we understand of when people are coming into the skill. So it's, it's based on time at the moment, kind of fuzzy matching on time. So we know exactly which publisher has been running that spot, what time of day, and then we can see what engagement we're seeing within the skill. We see then what conversational paths people are, uh, are taking and then where that, um, that's leading to, whether it's they're buying a physical product or they're being sent a link to book a test drive or to, um, to download an app, for example. And then you see all of that in real time. And then we, but we, we often have a weekly data meeting to help you interpret that. Great, thanks very much. Any other questions? Okay, there's just, no further just questions. Just quickly yeah, before sorry. we go, I just, I just, the, the work that Matt and the Radio Sensor team have done on the uh, media bill is amazing because this has all been, you know, this, this, this is a trend which is obvious. Um, and to protect you know, the, uh, what's happening here, it's, it's awesome. It's been great to see. Oh, thanks for saying that. I didn't even set him up to say that, so <laughs> that, was, that was great. So Fine. thanks, um, Sam Austin, Thank Charlie Cabri. Thanks very much. Thank okay, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.